Barakatha Yahweh, Barakatha Yahweh Shai, all praises, honor, and glory goes to Yahweh, Ba'ashim Yahweh Shai, Yahweh being the Heavenly Father's true name in the ancient Hebrew, and Yahweh Shai being the name of his only begotten Son, the Savior of the nation of Israel, starting with the elect, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, and peace and grace be upon the house of David, Dabayath Dabada, which is the elect, the men, women, and children that are chosen to be the first fruits of the kingdom of heaven, which is the kingdom of Israel. Okay, our Lord willing, this lesson be edifying unto the elect, who we endure things for. Um, you know, on the topic of uh, when reality sets, your emotions won't be a defense. All right? Um, you know, and this is basically going into how, you know, people, they like to hide behind their emotions or, you know, they like to have their emotions dictate their actions. Okay? You know, and when it comes to this truth, you know, people don't want to accept it because of how they feel, all right? They don't want to accept, you know, what the what the truth is because of their feelings. You know, when when we say, you know, that America, you know, is the daughter of Babylon is going to be destroyed, you know, people in America, you know, they spent their whole lives, you know, trying to build up some some comfortability or build up, you know, uh, a quote unquote good, happy life here. So their emotions won't let them, you know, uh, receive the truth all right or you have you know people that that don't want to accept the truth because they might have uh you know family members or they might have uh, so-called friends who are you know uh heathens and and in their mind they're thinking you know well that's not fair or you know why i don't want my see my friend to be in slavery or so on and so forth you know different variable uh you know var var um different variety of reasons why people uh let their emotions uh dictate um or alter what the truth is you know but ultimately man when reality hits when all hell breaks loose okay you know when we say that you know the economy is going to collapse and those dollar dollar bills those frns that you've been you know working your whole life uh, uh, towards, okay, which you put in, which you esteem as, as your God, when that crumbles and is worth nothing, your, your emotions is not going to be able to protect you. Okay. How you feel about things is not going to even matter in that day. Okay. And that's why the ultimate, you know, uh, defense is what this wisdom, knowledge and understanding and fear of Yahweh Ba Hashem Yahweh Shai. That's the only thing that is going to be able to, to defend during the times of, of these calamities, man, that are that are, are are about to approach, man, that are about to happen. Okay? Because once the Lord sets, once the Lord touches this place and visits this place with the nonstop uh woes, he's not gonna care about how you feel. Okay, he's not gonna care about, you know, the fact that when the famine hits. The fact that you haven't eaten. Okay? He's not going to care about that. Hey, and you're not going to care, okay, when that time comes, you know, um, about what you, uh, 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 um, you're not going to care, Shalakia, you know, when you haven't eaten for four or five days, what you eat. You know? You're going to have people that are going to be scavenging through garbage, all right? People going to be eating uh, their own children. All right. And in that day, you know, your emotions, you know, because you clearly, you know, you wouldn't want to do something like that. But in that day, your emotions are not going to be able to, de to defend you because reality going to set in and all you're going to all you're going to be con uh, thinking about is how to how to survive. All right. And then ultimately, you're going to go through all that hell and still die. Because your defense, you didn't put your defense in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. You didn't put your trust in the Lord. You put your trust in man. You put your trust in the government. You put your trust in, you know, uh, your money. So when that time comes, when reality hits, all that is going to be thrown out the window, man. Okay. And that's why all the pride is going to be brought low. Actually, let me start off with that. All the pride is going to be brought low in that day. Is nobody's gonna be prideful. Nobody's gonna be haughty. Okay, everybody's gonna be humble and quiet. All right. This is um, 
Isaiah chapter two verse. Isaiah chapter two verse. Uh, I start at eleven. It says, "The lofty looks of of men shall be humbled, and the haughtiness of men shall be brought shall be bowed down, and Yahweh alone sh uh, shall be exalted in that day." Okay, so the prideful looks that's going to be done away with, man. Okay, because that's what a lot of people. They let their emotions get the best of them, and a lot of people have an uh, have a prideful emotion, man, and, and especially here in Babylon, okay. But the things that's about to hit this place, the the, the calamities, the destruction, all right. The, as the scripture says, is a time that has never been upon the earth. All you're not gonna have the ability to be prideful in that day. Everything that you've held and esteemed. So that you can have a prideful, uh, you know, emotion, it's all going to be taken from you. All your haughty looks, uh, you know, of, of your, the, the, these men and women, all that's going to be completely stripped away from you. So how you feel in that day is not going to matter. How you think something should, should happen is not going to matter. Because this is going to be the will of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. And when the Lord does his, when the Lord will be done, it will be done. Nobody can stay the Lord's hand. Nobody can counsel him. Verse 12. For the day of Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh Shai of hosts, shall be upon everyone that is proud and lofty, and upon everyone that is lifted up, and he shall be brought low. And that's the majority of the people in the world, man. Especially two thirds of Israel, okay. But the that's why that's why the scripture says in Revelations three and ten that the hour of temptation is going to come upon the whole world, man, okay, because the whole world has pride, and for no for no reason at all, but especially exclusively here in Babylon the Great, and that and then that day, the Lord is going to bring all the pride looks, all the lofty looks down. All right. And how you feel is not going to be able to protect you. OK, so I'm going to go back, you know, to this, because ultimately, let me get this uh, first scripture, this other scripture, Salakia, go into Proverbs chapter, uh, I believe it's 18, verse 10. Ultimately, the only only defense is going to be Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. All right. Proverbs chapter 18, verse 10. The name of Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh Shai, is a strong tower. The righteous runneth into it and is safe. All right? That's the only way you're going to be safe. That's the only way you're going to sustain. You're going to, you're going to uh, be delivered, man, is if you are wholeheartedly trusting in Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh Shai, Yahweh in the name of his son, Yahweh Shai. Now, right now, people don't feel people have the, the notion that they don't need to trust in, in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Okay? They they have the luxury of having their emotions be uh dictate how they think and what they do. Why? Because right now there is no there is no you know crazy, you know, uh, calamities happening. As the scripture says, what's that second as the name chapter? Uh you know, uh, in their liberty, they have liberty, so to speak, to do and feel however they please. So when we come and bring the uh, bring the straight gate, when we come and bring the uh, the uh, obedience that Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah requires, right now people feel like they don't have to do that because they're living their life as they please. But the time is coming. And is soon approaching where you're going to be accountable for that. Okay, you're going to be accountable for loathing the law, the, the, the laws of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai when you had liberty to follow them, because you felt like you didn't have to do it, or you felt like it was wrong, or you felt like it was grievous. But your feelings is not going to be a defense when the heavenly Father brings the wrath, man. And that's what people do not consider. They don't consider the, the, the latter end of their pride. Okay? Because the scripture says pride comes before fall. They're not considering the fall. 
They're not considering the shame that's going to hit them. They're not cons considering the, the calamities that's like a whirlwind that they're not going to be able to uh, escape. Because all they care about is their feelings right now. Okay? And that's why being in this truth, it teaches you and you have to, in order to be a disciplined disciple of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, you have to detach your feelings from what the truth is, man. Okay? Because the truth is the only thing that's going to prevail. All right? This is uh, Psalms chapter 18, verse 2. It says, The Lord is my rock and my fortress and my deliverer, my power, my strength, in whom I will trust, my buckler in the horn of my salvation, my high tower. You see? That's what, that's, that's the power that is going to deliver us, man. That's the power of our strength. Your emotions ain't going to be a strength in that day. Okay? Your feelings ain't going to save you. You're not going to just, I feel like I, I deserve to, uh, to be delivered. And you think you're going to be delivered? No. Okay? Because the Lord is taking away, he's stripping away everybody's vain conceits, man. Everybody's vain thoughts. And in that time... When all hell hits this place, when holy hell destroys the, the fabric of people's livelihoods, if you don't have Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai on your side, you will you're not going to you're not going to survive this. Okay? The Lord is taking, He's going to destroy people in from the inward out, man. Everybody's their mind, their their their, their thoughts. Are just going to be completely dissolved in them. That's why the scriptures tells you that men's heart shall fail, fail them for fear. Because you're going to be a, literally an emotional wreck <laughs> in that day. If the if because because what I get that because you don't have the wisdom and knowledge, you don't have the understanding, you don't have the thing, the knowledge of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai that is going to keep the elect stable. You don't have that. You trusted in the wisdom of this world. You trusted in the knowledge of your feelings. So when all that gets stripped and dissolved from you, you're going to be completely and utterly useless and, and, and have no type of, of understanding of what to do. Okay, Isaiah 33 and 6, And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times and strength of salvation. The fear of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is his treasure. Yeah, because you ain't gonna have the treasure of the of of the money of the of this world. You ain't gonna have that. That's gonna be completely uh utterly uh waste uh use useless in that time. Okay, people, you're not gonna try to you're not gonna be able to pay somebody off to uh you're not gonna be able to pay somebody to to protect you. None of that is gonna help help you in this day, man. In the day of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. Rich, riches profit if not in the day of in the day of evil, man. Okay, only the fear of the Lord is going to be the treasure. Wisdom and knowledge is which is going to be keep you stable in that time. Okay, get this um, uh, next scripture. That's what's going. That's what's going to help uh, keep you, you know, uh, uh, upright. Psalm chapter one forty verse seven. O power, O Yahweh, the Lord, the strength of my salvation. Thou hast covered my head in the day of battle. All right? Because see, the ancient men, the prop, the ancient holy men, they understood where their power came from, where their source of strength came from, where their salvation came from. Okay? It didn't come. Oh, let me get that. It didn't come from uh, uh, man. All right? It didn't come from uh, uh, their own might. It came from the heavenly father, Ba'ashim Yahweh Shah. Okay, Jeremiah 3, verse 23, truly in vain is salvation hoped for from the hills. Okay, it's, 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 it's going to be in vain for you to think that the government is going to protect you. Now, if the government is not going to even protect you, it's going to be truly, truly in vain for you to think that your emotions, how you feel is going to be a defense. Because once again, you can hide behind your feelings right now. Okay. You can say, you know what, I don't believe that because I don't feel that's right and walk away and nothing happens to you. 
But in that time, when reality hits, when what we saying through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai manifests and is dead center in your face, you can't and won't be able to say, I don't believe this is, is happening because it's not right. <laughs> That's not going to help you. I don't believe this is true because I was taught I believe this. That's not going to help you because what is in your face, what is reality is what you're going to have to deal with. That's what you're going to have to deal with. And that's why, once again, truly in vain is salvation hoped for from the hills and from the mountains and from the multitude of mountains. Truly, Yahweh, our power is the salvation of Israel. Point blank and period, man. Yahweh Bashim ba Yahweh Shai is our defense. Nothing, nothing less, man. And there is nothing more. Okay? And that's what the message that we out here telling our people, telling the elect, really, because two thirds, y'all going, y'all going to die in y'all emotions, man. All right? Y'all going to die in y'all emotions, thinking that what you feel is right. To hell with what you feel, man. The scripture tells you that that the heart is deceitful above all things and desperately wicked. Okay? So let me go back to these other uh, precepts. So I came across a few when I was, um, you know, putting this together through the spirit. It says, um, Proverbs chapter 2, verse 5. Then shall thou understand and fear in the fear of Yahweh and find the knowledge of the Most High. For the Lord Yahweh giveth wisdom, and out of his mouth cometh knowledge and understanding. He layeth up sound wisdom for the righteous. He is a buckler to them that walk uprightly. There you go. A buckler, a shield, a protection to those that walk uprightly. Putting aside their feelings, putting aside of what they think, actually putting into subjection what we feel and what we think, man. That's why... We always pray, but I pray, let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my mind be acceptable in thy sight. We don't want to think well, what we want to think, okay? We want to conform our thoughts and transform our ways to the what? To the perfect will of the Most High, man. As David, as David was called a man after the Most High's heart, we want to think like, and, and we want to think the way Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahweh Shai Thinks, man. Okay? On that righteous thought. Not off of how we feel, because we know that the flesh is weak. But to hell with what we feel, man. It's what Yahweh Ba Shim Yahweh Shai is or is has ordained, man, in orders. And that's what we want to be in line with. Because we know if we're in line with that, when the time of calamity, when the time of the hell, when the time of the day of the Lord's wrath comes, we will have refuge. Okay? We will have refuge. Oh, actually, let me get that real quick. Psalms, the book of Psalms, I believe it's the 10th chapter. Or it might be the 9th chapter. Spare with me one second. God, this is a book of Psalms, chapter uh, 9, verse 9. It says, the Lord also will be a refuge for the oppressed and a refuge in the time of trouble. They that know knowledge thy name will put their trust in thee for thou lord has not forsaken them that seek thee see we're seeking the lord right now man the elect the house of david we are beseeching and the lord yahweh bashim yahweh shai to deliver us to protect us to be our strength to be our rock to be our fortress to to, to be our pav our, our pavilion all right not how we feel because the I'm going to get that too. How you feel is is, is useless, man. <laughs> and you got even people that's in this truth that, that, that can't separate how they feel from the truth, okay? Can't separate how they feel from what is, from what is reality, man. You got to get out your emotions. Get out of your feelings. Because your feelings can get you killed straight up. Your feelings... Can and will get you killed, man. All right. This is um, where is it at? Yeah, Ecclesiastes chapter seven, verse twelve. For wisdom is a defense, and money is a defense. 
Okay, but guess what? It's going to become a time where money is not going to be a defense, but wisdom will always be a defense. And once again, not the wisdom of this world, but the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shot. That is a defense, man. Because when everybody in, is bugging out their mind, the men of the Lord is going to be calm, cool, and collected, man. Because this is what we've we've already been anticipating this through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shot. And then ultimately, the Lord is going to be with us in that day and going to give us the peace of mind in that day, man. Because that's what everybody's going to be searching for. All right. That's what the that's what's the main thing people are going to want is peace of mind. But that is going to be totally far fetched and, and not in their reach, man. Everybody's going to be chaotic. All right. Because so people are so used to having the status quo, the repetitious repetition of their normal, quote unquote, Babylonian life. But that that Babylonian life is about to be completely altered, man, because ultimately the Lord is going to destroy it. But before he completely destroy it, he's going to what? Tear it apart piece by piece. And if you don't have the wisdom of why this is happening or who or what power is, is, is causing this, and if you're not on the good gracious of that power, you're not going to have no defense. You're going to be swept up right along with Babylon. Okay. So it says, but the excellency of knowledge is that wisdom giveth life to them that have it. Giveth life. Okay? The prudent is going to have life in that day. But what? The ones who don't have it, it's just going to be death, man. All they going to think about and all they going to fear, feel is death. Death around the corner. Wherever they go, they're not going to feel secure, man. Uh, let me uh, get that. They're not going to they're not going to uh, feel secure. Um, all right. And their their feelings is not going to uh, is not going to uh, make them feel any better. Their emotions is not going to make them make them feel better about themselves. And on the contrary, their emotions is going is going to be haywire. So they're going to just, they're, they're going to be completely bugged out of their mind, man. They're going to literally bug out. Proverbs uh, 22, verse 3, a prudent man, man of wisdom, a man of knowledge and understanding. Okay. A man that puts his feelings aside and deals with the, with the uh, spirit. Okay. A prudent man foreseeth the evil and hideth himself. Now, where does he hide himself? Does he hide himself in his house or does he hide himself, you know, under... Uh, in his vault with all of his money, okay? No, that's a carnal man. A real prudent man is a man that has the wisdom and knowledge of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. He had of himself what? In the strong tower of the Lord. But the simple pass on and are punished. Simple, emotional. You going to be punished, man. You going to be punished because just simple emotional last didn't get the knowledge and wisdom of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Plain and simple, all right? Plain and simple. So when reality hits, man, once again, your emotions is not going to deliver you. The Lord ain't going to give a two shits about how you feel, man. He ain't going to give a damn about what you think should be happening. Okay? Where is that at? This is, uh, I'm going to close it out with, um, close it out with this. Isaiah 33 verse, uh, so like Isaiah 13 verse 11, and I will punish the world for their evil and the wicked for their iniquity. I will cause the arrogancy of the proud to cease and will lay low the haughtiness of the terrible. Okay. The, are he going to cause the arrogancy of the proud to cease, man. And you got a lot of arrogant people because they are all stuck up in their emotions thinking that. They got the they they got the answers or they that none of this is going to happen, okay? And the Lord and, and because they have that feeling, that false emotion, they they are they are prideful and boastful in 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 their own vanity, man. But understand that the Lord is going to be the only one exalted, man. It's going to come a time on the earth that only Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai is going to be exalted. And how is the Lord going to do that? By bringing everybody else low. And how is he going to do that? By bringing his wrath upon his place, man. 
And only the ones who are going to be protected, the only ones that's going to be delivered is the ones that were humbled and the ones that that ran unto Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, that trusted in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. Okay, so we know with that, Lord willing, this is edifying unto the elect. Okay, get out your emotions, man, because that ain't going to help you. All right, so with that, call Lord Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, and Shalom.